Okay, let's go for a match. So we have a pretty punishing start if our opponent doesn't have early plays, but we also are not on the play, so I guess it's not that punishing, but <clears throat> otherwise a hinterland logger on turn two when you're on the play usually could mean four to eight damage if you're lucky. So this hand we just want to draw lands basically. We should be able to win from there. Uh, turn two logger, turn three courier, turn four provisioner or something. Okay, so we're playing against a clue deck. Could be fun. We drew a land, which is good. So let's see if our opponent has a play. I guess, okay, press for answers. Yeah, that's good, doesn't flip and okay, so they're also splashing a color. Uh, we drew another land, so even though we cannot attack this turn, it looks like we can have a pretty broken curve. We'll see if it's enough. Ongoing investigation is a very good card. And the two decks I haven't played with uh, so far is Werewolves and the actual Simic Clue deck. So now I got to play Werewolf and play against the Clue deck. So let's see. Guess we can just play Provisioner and attack. And we also have a land in hand for Pack Guardian. We have a Moonlight Hunt to follow up after we have played the Pack Guardian. And we have a Veteran Qatar that could maybe give stuff double strike later if we find the white land. But opponent down to 15 and looking at our hand looks pretty good. Even though the, the ongoing investigation could buy a lot of time since our opponent seems to be heavy investigating and uh, yeah this could be a good game I think I want to lead with the pack guardian end step and then kill a blocker next turn and then just attack all in attacking from there so probably starting by flipping my werewolf here. <clears throat> Opponent cracks a clue. Logger flips. Let's see if our opponent can put out more blockers or not. Okay. Going deep. Investigate and uh, getting all the mana. Yeah, that card is pretty good, actually. In the right environment. But now we go Pack Guardian, Discard Mountain, Untap, Moonlight Hunt, and then All In Attacking. And I don't think our opponent can come back from that, but we'll see. Our curve was pretty bonkers this turn. Pack Guardian. Opponent is thinking maybe about responding somehow. I don't really know how. Hmm. So yeah, discard the mountain. Ooh, that will also be good later, but I do think Moonlight Hunt and Qatar is the play here. Will just be so much damage. Because the 1 3 can actually not kill anything on our side. Because, yeah, they're all too big. And we can also play a 2 drop, and next turn the Resurgence should be game I think so attack is probably blocking the wolf going down to low life eh, even I guess the resurgence could have been game here ah, 
I would have added two four. Uh, maybe I didn't count, but playing out the two drop here should be enough. <clears throat> and we have the resurgence for next turn if we need. But I think our opponent will just concede. I would. Or they could have something. <clears throat> we'll not be able to get enough life. No, they didn't have anything. So yeah, this shows if we <laughs> can curve, I mean, this deck can be very aggressive. And also we had a backup Howl Pack Resurgence if we really needed it. I don't think we need to put in a Watcher or something. I just want to curve about the same again. So let's see. Looks a bit slower, but it feels like we could draw one of our... We have a, a, a lot of two drops and also some three drops. So if we just draw one of them before turn four, then we can pitch a land to, help, uh, to pack Guardian and have a wide enough board for these uh, combat tricks and the removal spell to be... Relevant enough. Sadly did not draw a creature there. So we have one more turn to draw something to play. On the curve. Opponent is ramping so no pressure from him. Let's draw a creature. Okay Logger, where were you last turn? But it's still fine. That was what we wanted to draw. Now we can go End step pack guardian, discard forest maybe. We still have reduce, we still have... Okay, that's a bit annoying. Uh, we don't want him ha to get clues. So I guess we could take a hit from it. And I don't want to trade my pack guardian for it either, I'd rather have it to attack. I mean, if we draw Hull Pack Resurgence, our board will be crazy good. Mm -mm -mm. Flips. So, let's see if our opponent attacks here. Uh, and wants to offer the trade, I will probably not take the trade, I'd rather attack. Okay, press for answers, so we don't have to make that choice. I'm not going to block with the pack guardian. If we draw a land, we can also reduce to ashes that guy, so it will never get a clue. It has that weird effect that if he sacrifices three clues in the same turn, he can put something from his hand into play. But I've never seen that happen. I always think that magic should have achievements within each set. So for example, you should unlo unlock an achievement if you manage to put a creature into play with Briar Pack, whatever it's called. Uh, its ability to sack three clues, for example. It would be cool to try to strive for those achievements. Maybe they could generate play points or something. Okay, Graph Mole, we have to kill. Because, yeah, that's just super annoying. So we have to draw a land, kill pack, uh, peel gra uh, kill Graph Mole, and then just go offensive. Perfect. <clears throat> Because, like, uh, going back to the achievements, with uh, I drew seven cards with Koselec once when I drafted that format, and also the bounce the whole team put a 8 8 octopus surge thing was pretty hard to do in draft. Stuff like that should, should generate cool achievements, I think. But maybe it's too hard to implement in this old client. 
Okay, I could untap the alpha, uh, the the pack guardian, but I don't think it's good enough because it will only be one attack. Otherwise, now we have the land for veteran Qatar, so I could just go attack with the wolf, aim high, play Qatar, <coughs> and then try to win with humans and double strike. It was very important to get that graph mole off the table because a good blocker that will just generate infinite life over infinite turns, if you think of it that way, will not be good for our beatdown deck. Uh, yeah, I'm trading aim high for that and a clue. Not super happy about it, but we have to keep on attacking. And Qatar gets to shine with its relevant ability here, since we have mana for it, if we really need. Opponent cracking a clue. And we'll see. Down to four cards. We have a combat trick. Yeah, that's annoying. It's in the way. But we could still... Ooh, pretty good. So we can play Halpack, Resurgence and Rush of Adrenaline. So... Yeah, probably we can just attack with everything. And we, whatever he blocks we can save and we can still kill the blocker, yeah. So play Resurgence. And Rush of Adrenaline, the Veteran, seems like a good turn. And then our opponent is down to zero creatures, but a lot of clues. And we can still double strike our trampled logger, which seems pretty good for next turn. Uh, okay, sleep paralysis. Probably should have put that on the logger, I think. Ah, okay, they didn't have anything. Okay, so yeah, that was game one. And uh, with this deck, I had a similar two 0 win in the semi-finals and the first game in the final I also won easily and then in game 2 in the final I was stuck on 2 lands but I played 3 2 drops and a, a moonlight hunt and I had and I almost won with only 2 lands but then uh, graph mole and stuff uh, turned it the tides and I lost and then in the last game I had kept seven with pack guardian and byway courier and reduced to ashes and then from there on, on I drew <laughs> only forests and uh, uh, mountains for the whole game but I had my opponent down to three and I lost to a top decked uh, combat trick the, the one that gets gives plus one plus one and uh, double strike. Otherwise I would have actually won even if I only played three spells in the whole game. So yeah, I wanted to show one of the games where the deck uh, actually performed as it performed five of the seven games I've played. So yeah, tomorrow we will record a regular draft and then we will start doing some new content uh, we will start with some top lists and uh, we'll see some more new stuff pretty soon. So see you and stay tuned. Bye bye.